Cuba Joel scene. Hey man, you know you're a piece of shit, right? <laughs> you know, right? Right? Come on, yeah, you know. You know, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Take care, folks. He knows. That incredibly satisfying TikTok went viral days after we learned that bags and bags of money were found by a plumber stashed behind a wall inside Joel Olstein's mega church. So very, very interesting story. And it turns out the police now know the origin of that money. So John Wright of Salon explains evidence from the recovered check suggests this November case is connected to a March 9th, 2014 theft report of undisclosed amounts of money at the church. The Houston Police Department said in a statement posted to Twitter on Friday afternoon, adding that the investigation is continuing. The New York Times reports that after the 2014 theft, which reportedly was discovered by an employee, the church said in a statement that the missing funds were fully insured and we are working with our insurance company to restore the stolen funds to the church. According to KPRC Channel 2, the church also said the stolen money represented funds that were contributed during one weekend of services. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, the church housed in former stadium that was home to the Houston Rockets drew roughly 42,000 people to services every week. Now, I for one am totally confident that that's all there is to this story. You know, an employee just took the money and for some reason chose to hit it behind a wall. The church collected insurance money after this money was stolen. And I'm sure that they're very, very happy that this money was recovered and there's nothing else going on. Mm -mm, nothing at all. Nothing else left to consider with regard to this story. Not suspicious. Nope. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, I've got to point out, since we're talking about Joel Olstein, this is an individual who is worth an estimated $100 million in net worth. He owns his own fucking castle in Texas worth $10.5 million. Yet, even megachurches like his are totally tax-exempt. And the fact that he's able to scam so many Christians into giving him money every single week and attending his church service is really bizarre given what the bible says about extremely wealthy people matthew 19 24 reads and again i say unto you it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of god now let me be very clear here we should never care about what the bible says about anything but if you do care what the bible says then why would you let this elitist prick who the bible says will not be getting into heaven instruct you on how to best get into heaven so it's really frustrating to me because people who are very obviously scam artists and frauds are able to get away with it because people just aren't able to detect that they are being taken advantage of. It's because, you know, if you subscribe to a particular doctrine or ideology and somebody else is repeating what you want to hear and you will agree with that, there's this level of cognitive dissonance, I think, that keeps you from acknowledging that this person is taking uh, advantage of you. You think, well, I agree with them. And since I'm like them, since they're like-minded, there's no way that they'd be opportunistic because I'm not opportunistic. It's why so many frauds and grifters are able to profit off of so many people. They just, they can't fathom that the people who they respect are lying to them. It's like Jordan Peterson, right? He told you to clean your room and get your life together, but yet he never cleaned his room couldn't get his life together. On top of that, you have an anti-vaxxer and useful idiot for Republicans, Jimmy Dore, telling you he's not anti-vax and is indeed the most left person in all of leftism. And still, a lot of people take him seriously. I mean, he's losing leftist viewers, but still a lot of people who think they're on the left or are on the left, but just are duped by him, take him seriously. And we have to have a higher standard for how we... <sighs> view content because there's so many people who are opportunistic who want to grift off of you who want to cash in off of you and you you shouldn't give them the ability to do this when you notice red flags if you notice some things are off if you notice that someone like joel olstein is incredibly rich and the bible says that's bad maybe you shouldn't take that person seriously if you actually do believe in the book that you are subscribing to religiously. So, you know, I don't have much left to say about this. I'm really glad that Joel Olstein was called out to his face because he is indeed a piece of shit, but I really am curious to learn more about this story because to me, lots of red flags here about the bags and bags of money found in a wall at his church, and there's definitely something else going on here, and I will be uh, following this story very closely because, uh, you know, I would love nothing more than to see this absolute fucking fraud be brought down because i mean he's he's duping so many people and to me i i just find that so gross
you acting like a beta, 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 beta. Call you the P word. Alpha male, not a beta male.